If you want to create publications for your business, such as brochures, banners, catalogs, email templates, even certificates or advertisements for that matter, you can use Microsoft Publisher. This comes as a part of Microsoft Office package and you can access it right there, then and there. And this is actually catered towards uh, uh, Office users itself. So you can, you can find uh, that this is very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint Word or Excel for that matter. So if you're used to Microsoft Word and other Office applications, you can use Adobe Publisher. But Adobe Publisher is only available for Windows at the moment and is not available for Mac. So uh, if you are a Windows user, then you can find this with, um, uh, with your Office package itself. So let us get started on how to use this. So now you can see that once I open up Publisher, uh, there are a lot of templates that you can choose from. So there are uh, advertisements that you can choose from, there are award certificates, banners, brochures, business cards, business forms, and so forth, even calendars if you want to. So for now, I'm just going to create a blank document. So I'm just going to select blank document right here, and it opens up a blank document. And once I start, you can see that on the left side, there are pages. So it allows you to work with multiple pages quite easily. And over here, this is the canvas, and you can see that there's the ruler. And once I move around the mouse on here on the bottom left side, you can see that there's the object position as well, so which makes it easy to arrange objects over here. And if you were to see, and if you're uh, uh, quite familiar with Microsoft Word and PowerPoint, and if you want to learn them, uh, you can check out my playlist in my tutorial channel as well. So you can see that there are uh, similar um, um, uh, save, uh, save tools, style tools, and font designing tools right there. Uh, so this is the home tab and in the insert you can see that you can insert calendars, you can insert shapes, pictures and headers and footers for that matter. And there's page design. This is dedicated to the color scheme to uh, choosing and setting guides for your pages, design pages, um, choosing templates and so forth as well. This is uh, different from what you find in Microsoft Word and PowerPoint itself. There are mailing uh, options right here, so you can mail mails and uh, select recipients to send your emails to. There's the review section, uh, which will help you to research uh, and see the thesaurus and even choose the language. The view tool helps you to uh, manage the uh, manage the viewport in different ways, and there's the help menu finally right there. So over here, once you go to file, you can see that there's the saving option right there. There's the business. Uh, Taglines all over here. There are different options to save and so forth. So if you want to zoom in and out of the canvas right here, you can go on to the bottom right. And you can see that there's the zoom menu. I can zoom in and out. So once I zoom in, you can see that I can use the scroll handle right here at the bottom and over here to navigate around and see uh, what elements are there uh, in my viewport right there. So that is the basic interface of the Adobe um, of the Microsoft Publisher that you have. So uh, we'll learn further about this in further lessons. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.